I'm Mark Burns, a physician in infectious disease uh, and assistant professor at UofL Health. I wanted to become a doctor primarily because when I was a little kid, uh, I got bitten by a dog and the doctor that came out to take care of me for my dog bite, uh, I was just fascinated with him because he had a long white coat uh, and uh, uh, he seemed like he was very knowledgeable. Um, and I remember seeing that and just being so impressed and said in my mind, I want to be like that when I grow up. I do infectious disease, which is a subspecialty of internal medicine. And we deal primarily with, as the title says, infections. Uh, and the infections can be anywhere from the top of your head with uh, any type of, let's say, like meningitis or ventriculitis, or something in the head, all the way down to the bottom of your feet. Somebody that may have diabetic foot ulcers or uh, some type of uh, foot infection. We deal primarily with COVID as well, too. Uh, COVID, uh, as you know, is a uh, is a viral disease. We usually get with what the infection is. That is, whether it's from a culture or some type of sampling or something, we find out what the, what, the organism, what the organism is that we're dealing with. But we not only stop there, but we try to reason out why this took place. And so we try to treat not only the symptoms, but we actually try to treat the problems, the root problem as well too. Patients um, are, are what I consider innocent victims and unfortunately they get exposed to, to bad things. Uh, bad things in the form of viruses, bacteria, uh, fungi. They're exposed to that and when their own body is unable to control uh, uh, the, the appearance of these organisms, then uh, that's, and, and that's when we actually come on board uh, basically to try to help treat whatever problem they have. That's that, that correct. We get, we get consulted by uh, just about all the services through the hospital, anywhere from general surgery, uh, obviously internal medicine, all the way down to OBGYN, even psychiatry. I'm an avid exerciser. I've uh, been a member of the YMCA uh, since the early 1980s and actually uh, do a lot of, at one time I was doing a lot of running, biking, and swimming. Uh, now my activities are more more toward weightlifting, bike riding, uh, and treadmill. You've heard of the runner's high. Well, I believe you can not only get it from running, but you can also get it from intense exercising with a goal in mind though.